Hi guys, uh, how are you doing? So I believe uh, you do, you guys are doing great. So uh, today uh, we will be covering about something called as uh, uh, you know the architectural framework of Hadoop. So many of the YouTube tutorials uh, you will find focusing on the dev part. Uh, but today uh, I will be going brief about the architectural framework and I will be also sharing the link and that's a very great link and it's open source uh, So that would be great and I truly believe the open source and sharing of the knowledge, uh, you know concept uh, So I believe that uh, this video will give some basic idea about uh, Hive Server 2 web edge cat edge catalog and how does the client connects and all those things so okay now let's get started so uh, first what i was telling you guys about a very good book open source book which i will share with the link in description so this link you can go through and uh, just for the hive and impala part and how the zookeeper is uh, very much like integral part of hadoop ecosystem nowadays i'm just going to highlight it in a very basic uh, in layman terms uh, but before this you need to have some basic about uh, uh, about hadoop and hive and impala that would be uh, much more beneficial so uh, okay so if, if you guys already know about the basic things about these all things then okay let's get started okay uh, so what happens in hive so see hive queries and submitting of jobs those all things are part of developers those are typically the developing part but very often we need the idea of architectural you know overview of how does the ecosystem component work and how to so today i will uh, focus on hive so what basically happening in hive there is one meta store okay and this meta store server basically manages all the schema of your hive table database and the columns and the rows and whatever schema you have made okay and uh, all the schemas are basically stored as metastore okay in metastore database and when any hive client basically uh, you know ask the metastore server metastore server for any kind of uh, you know details of the table or database or something as such uh, it can be anything so the thing is there is one hive client over here so there is hive client and this hive client is basically requesting the uh, you know metastore server for any kind of info or running jobs submitting jobs or running and um, extracting any kind of columns and whatever all the things so those all things are again uh, belongs to developer uh, jobs so today we'll be focusing on architectural part so hive client request to metastore server okay that to submit any job or pull any kind of info from the schema or the or the hive table so this hive table is basically stored uh, as a meta store in a, in a meta store meta store the schema is basically stored in meta store database okay and uh, i think this schema is uh, this meta store database what it does is basically it tells that uh, which data belongs to in uh, which node okay which data node has which data right so it it basically keep tracks of all the metadata of the of the queries which the hive client is going to use okay so this metastore database keeps track of all those metastore which are which are your data of your data which are stored in the data nodes or any other nodes in your sdfs cluster and basically the schema is not stored over here the schema is stored over uh, somewhere else i will be coming to that so th this this the metastore database also has the idea of the schema 
okay so also have the idea of the schema that which data is partitioned where or which data belongs to which data node and all those things and these all the things are fetched by metastore server to serve the hive client okay to serve the hive client now the thing is that hive client the hive client can be user of hive which is already knowing about the hive framework and those client will be connecting to metastore server by hive server 2 which provides a rest api using gdbc odbc client uh, to the hive client which is already having the idea of hive framework to connect to the metastore server but what about the client which is not having the hive framework for those uh, you know things we have a concept of edge catalog and this gives the schema on read on hive hive schema okay that this uh, that in metastore database we have the hive schema and all the metastore information so this edge catalog basically requests the metastore server and then this metastore server pulls all the info from metastore database okay and uh, for any users who is not using high framework for those users we have a web edge cat which is a api for client to connect to edge catalog okay so hive client can be can be hive client basically is here okay hive client is basically here so it can either take the way of this one or either it can take the way of this one this one the it, the, the way it will take when like it is okay let me just clarify this in diagram so it will be easier i guess but hold on a second actually i am not good in all those arts and all those things but i will try my best surely okay yeah so this is one way hive client can connect or the other way is either it can connect to connect via hive server 2 okay so these are the two ways from where hive client basically connects to meta store server okay this line uh, yeah again the line which i deleted let me just undo it yeah when this whole part let me just show you okay when this whole part is not there okay this 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 is the yellow line and on the left hand side of yellow line support this whole part is not there anything is not there then the hive client basically when you use cloud in our heart and use framework there is by default hive client is being installed whatever node you want so there no need to do all those th kind of things um, well in there also it needs but there's a later kind of concept when you integrate when you want to fetch your sdfs cluster uh, by using hive queries by using hive schemas through rest apis then you mind want this concept basically this hive server 2 edge catalog and web edge cat makes the rest api concept uh, come into picture okay for the hive client so when when your hive client is already in the stfs node typically we don't use these kind of things okay so that's the main concept so that being said uh, uh you know the thing is that uh, okay uh, th that was all about the hive architecture now just let us come about uh, about the impala how how does impala differ from hive basically typically hive and impala are two competitor of both the um, ecosystem both the components but uh, you know the the impala is very very intelligent in, in impala is basically mpp it's massive parallel processing and it's quite fast typically hive is being used for batch processing etl jobs but any kind of real-time analytics and uh, real-time processing then impala is being used because it is much faster so what impala does is impala also basically use the same schema which uh, hive uses which is stored in hive um, meta store database right so 
this catalog server connects to metastore database and impala client request to catalog server now what does this catalog server as you can see from this diagram that impala client request to catalog server and catalog server it fetches all the schema info from metastore database and uh, then it uh, brings all these things to impala client okay that is this this architecture is from the client's perspective how client will fetch the schema of the hive tables but in detail architecture this catalog server is basically connected to state store suppose the simpala client is uh, reading data from sdfs right so it it sends a query to catalog server that it needs to it will, it will read some data from one of our data node and then it will uh, uh, you know run the run the query or something uh, according to the schema okay it it might want to read the data from this data note and put this to uh, hive table and that's why it will be using this meta store database which is having high schema okay so this catalog server is connected to state store and the state store is in turn connected to all the nodes where impala is uh, you know there impala daemon so it's short form of impala daemon it's impala d and this is this agent is running typically in all the data nodes because all the data nodes having the data information of rest of the cluster okay so this this impala d basically reads sends all the info to the state store state store basically uh, monitors the impala d of all the nodes whether it is up or down and manages all the stuff okay and then in turn it fetches all the data to catalog server and this this catalog server basically uses this meta store database schema okay this is how the impala um, uh, is using the hyphen schema and this is the basic difference between hyphen impala so hope uh, you guys liked my tutorial if you really liked it give us a thumbs up and also share it subscribe and comment and please leave a feedback for me thank you everyone